these um, these different ways to display your mesh in Maya are known as shading modes okay and um, you all can access them in your viewport here um, under the shading menu there's different ways to display your model okay uh, wireframe is one of them that you've probably seen in those Hollywood breakdowns where they show you the character models and whatnot right wireframe does not put the um, or does not have a surface being displayed for the polygons it just shows the edges right so this can be handy especially um, if you need to see if there's geometry inside of something else so like I can tell that there's geometry inside of this this topmost sphere because there are uh, well obviously there's parts of this this middle ball that are inside of that one so you can see that in the wireframe view you would not be able to see that if you were to use um, the shaded view right you would not be able to see any of that so you can see wireframe shaded now the um, there are a couple different ways to display the shaded one now typically we're looking at this uh, these models and the edges look rather harsh right like they're they're it's hard edges um, but we would maybe go before we render this thing and maybe we'd hit the smooth button and we'd kind of smooth it out right well that gives us a lot of polygons which can be a good thing or it could be a bad thing because it's harder to edit like if I wanted to change the bulge on let's say this is a snowman and let's say it's his his eyeballs here um, if I wanted to change the bulge on that it would amount to um, too many polygons for me to really deal with so I wouldn't um, want to necessarily smooth using that smooth button there because um, I would end up with such a weighty model like so many polygons that it would take me forever to edit it right so keeping it low poly is not always a disadvantage um, my Maya has frozen so I've got to kind of pause this here for a second and I will um, have to remodel this real quick and show you guys how to display it as if it's smooth but not add to the polygon count so that that's one of those shading um, options there just a second so with it smoothed uh, there's just too many polygons sometimes so I'm gonna undo a couple times what I've done um, hopefully you guys haven't hit smooth if you have control Z works to undo or you could use edit undo um, but like this looks really kind of clunky and pretty ugly my my snowman with his like ski goggles on um, maybe we want to look at it like if it was smooth but we don't actually want to add to the poly count to do that there's a shading mode for this okay um, and it's most easily accessed on your home row uh, on your keys with your hand um, the one two and three buttons will change the shading mode okay so two enter like shows you a very interesting um, view uh, three shows you have it as if it were smooth okay and it lets you edit it but it doesn't add to the weight of the geometry so it doesn't add to um, how many polygons there are which is a great thing because I can now edit this quickly if I said well you know this ski goggles or whatever they were meant to be sort of angled a little differently um, something like that Th uh, I didn't add more polygons my uh, character model didn't increase in how much memory was used all of these good benefits but I get to look at it as if it were so that's not only good because um, it keeps the poly count down for memory savings like on your computer everything will display faster but also it still lets you um, go back to this if you hit the two button on your keyboard um, either on your numpad or or normally you can edit what I like to call 
the cage. OK, so maybe I could go to edge mode and say, well, I know I'm really editing this outside model here, but I can see what the result is. I feel like I get a little bit more control this way. That might be personal preference. But regardless, everything usually looks better whenever you hit um, the three key and look at it in smooth mode. Now, to actually make it smooth, of course, we need to hit the smooth button. Um, so, I, you know, I'll go ahead and go to object mode and hit that. And you can see it's nice and smooth. Smooth it again. It's really smooth. And go from there. And we're looking at really pushing how many polygons we are comfortable with on this model. So I'm undoing. But those are different shading modes. OK. What was that? So there are other shading modes over available here. You'll just have to play with some of them to see what they look like. There's smooth uh, shading, which we talked about. There's a bounding box, which um, this is useful for super heavy models that you need to move around. We're probably never going to use it. Um, if you like to see through the model but still see what the surface looks like, try the shading mode called X-Ray. That's a good one. Um, there's one called, um, let's see, backface culling. We don't really need to deal with that. Actually, most of these are not applicable, but the top ones really are. You'll have to play with them a little bit. Uh, this is also accessible by hitting, you know, one, two, three. We talked about that. One, two, three. Or four, five. Um, four and five will change between shaded and wireframe, okay? Between the four and five keys on your keyboard. So one, two, and three change the display mode. Uh, four and five change whether it's shaded or not. That's kind of it on the shading modes. Um, next up, we'll talk about like actually some more tools for editing the meshes themselves. So this is kind of just how the computer displays the mesh to you.